100,000 Vario, 100% Vario. That was the slogan Fendt used at the Agritechnica 2009 in Hanover. Fendt and Mark Oberdorf is completely committed, 100% committed, to the stepless, continuously variable drive, the Vario transmission. 100% Vario, that's a good reason for us at Fendt TV to take a closer look at this type of stepless driving. How does the drivetrain from the Fendt brand work? What makes it special? And most of all, is it possible to explain it so that everybody can understand? All beginnings are difficult, and not every idea is accepted straight away. As Fendt began to experiment with stepless drives in the 60s, the professional world had no idea about the existence of this drive concept. It took decades of research and development, however, before the first Vario transmission could be presented to the public in 1995. The persistence paid off. The Vario transmission from Fendt is unique on the market today and has proven itself in practice 100,000 times. But how does it work? To answer this question, let's talk to Peter Zettler. He'll explain to us how a stepless, continuously variable drive works using a simple example. When you jack up one side of a car, then start the engine and shift into first gear, what happens? The differential divides the rotational speed and torque of the drive axle. Force always moves along the path of least resistance. That means that the wheel in the air spins and the wheel on the ground stays put. The car doesn't do anything. Now, if I manage to break the freely spinning wheel a bit, remove some of the energy here, then the differential transfers some of the energy to the other side. The wheel starts to spin here. That's bad for our car, because it falls off the jack. Now, if we break just a little bit here, only a small amount of energy is transferred to the other side. The car moves very slowly, and if we hold the wheel tight, all the drive power is transferred to the other side and our car will fall off the jack at full speed. The situation where one wheel is in the air and the other one spins on the ground is familiar to anyone who has ever parked on the side of the road in winter. The wheel on the ice spins easily. It slips. The wheel on the asphalt, on the dry asphalt, doesn't budge. And that's the basic operating principle behind any stepless, continuously variable drive. We can illustrate this principle further with an animation. Here is the engine and here we have our differential. The wheel that's on the ground, marked yellow, the sun wheel, geared directly to the rear axle and front axle. The wheel in the air, with which the speed is controlled, drives a hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump feeds a motor and returns the energy, since this hydromotor also drives the front and rear axles of the tractor. So, now we'll start the engine and the exact same thing happens as with our jacked-up car. The force takes the path of least resistance and drives our pump, which doesn't deliver oil. It's easy. When starting to drive, the following happens. The pump swings out, the pump delivers oil, feeds a hydromotor, and this hydromotor drives our tractor more or less hydraulically. In the first phase of acceleration, the hydropump is swung out further, which means that it delivers more oil, the engine receives more oil, the tractor moves faster. We can continue to do this until the pump reaches the maximum swing angle. And now, if we manage to break this side as we did with our car, the other side, namely the mechanical branch, must then run faster. And to do this, to decelerate, we just swing the hydromotor back. That's what we're doing now. The volume of oil the pump can accept keeps getting smaller until finally it reaches zero. Not a single drop of oil fits in. It's holding the pump tight. That means that the drive energy flows to the rear wheels mechanically. In the Vario transmission, this always occurs when we drive at maximum speed and reduced revs. And, as you can see, there is no shifting involved. 
Now we only have one more thing left to explain. How do we reverse? That is extremely easy with the vario transmission. It is done by swinging the pump in the opposite direction. That means that the pressure and suction sides are switched. The hydromotor runs in reverse and drives the tractor in reverse hydraulically. And it's really great at the headland end, because as you can see here, you can switch from forward to reverse without any steps and without having to shift. And of course, all of this happens without any wear. An ingeniously simple design that has proven itself in practice a hundred thousand times. But it took more than 30 years until the transmission was ready for series production, simply because in those early years of development there were no hydrostats available that had the required efficiency and, even more important, there were none that had the right swing angle. This here is the kind of hydrostat that was available at that time. Because the people from the Elgao are stubborn and don't give up easily, we turned this hydrostat into this hydrostat, which is now the heart of the Vario transmission. The effect that the swing angle has on efficiency can be demonstrated with another experiment. Here we have a normal wheelbarrow, which is turned over and lying on the ground, and a normal garden hose. Mr. Settler, what does this experiment show us? In the hydromotor, hydrostatic energy is converted into mechanical energy. Right now, we have a zero swing angle, which means that the wheelbarrow wheel doesn't move. Now, we'll slowly increase the angle. As we can see, the wheel starts to turn, and the larger we make the angle, the faster it turns. That means that more hydrostatic energy is being converted into mechanical energy. The larger the swing angle, the greater the efficiency and the greater the effectiveness. In this way, Fendt can drive through the entire speed range from 20 meters per hour to 60 kilometers per hour without having to shift. The advantages are evident. Power flow without interruption. With Vario, you're always driving at the ideal speed, adjusted to meet all conditions. The Vario transmission is a guarantee for maximum efficiency and low fuel consumption. The Fendt Vario technology allows the engine to be operated at an economical optimum every time it's used. Comfortable and easy operation using the joystick or driving pedal, and last but not least, stepless direction changing. Only Fendt can do this without having to shift. The willingness to innovate that Fendt has shown in this area is tremendous and has paid off. Fendt and the Vario transmission are 100% success story.